This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this is going to be another Perform Pal Zodiac combo tutorial. We're not really going to be focusing on the Magician part of this engine like we did in the last video. Well, there wasn't really a focus, it was just more of a, you know, added benefit to what you got as far as an additional plus one, but regardless, a Perform Pal Zoo combo to go hand in hand with the potentiality of future deck profiles coming out, because this one specifically plays a card in it that was not in the previous deck profile because I've done more testing since that deck profile went up and I found some missing combo pieces that I needed to include in that list. So there will probably be a revised list going up sometime soon, uh, not too certain on that. But anyway, this combo is legal for both this current format and for the June 12, 2017 format. And it is another combo utilizing Duelist Alliance to get us access into Pendulum uh, Rising to yield us a good, healthy play. Now, this is a variation on the previous one, uh, and it does involve not using Zodiac Barrage, but it involves having either Rat Pier or Fire Formation Tanky. So, it could be either one, it doesn't really matter which, but it just means that you have an astronomically high amount of starter cards that you can utilize alongside Duelist Alliance or Pendulum Rising to yield your play string that you want. And just like the last video, we're going to assume that the other three cards in our hand are not Pendulum play enabling cards. They are blanks in the form of just defensive cards, the non-combo cards you run, the things like Strike and Hand Traps and Warning and Dimensional Barrier, things like that that you run. All you require for your play string are these two cards, a Rap Pier or a Way to Rap Pier plus Duelist Alliance or the Pendulum Rising. But so, you're going to activate the Fire Formation 10 key if you had it and you're going to add the Rap Pier or you're just going to normal summon the Rap Pier. Then off the Rap Pier you're going to send Zodiac Ram Ram to your graveyard. So this is one of the cards that needs to be in the list for this specifically to be a good yield. Um, you could do other like, like variations of how this works, but Ram Ram is pretty important for the highest yield of this combo to be performable. But so from here, you're going to overlay Borbo on top of the Rat Pier, just like that we did in the previous combo. Detach the Borbo to summon the other copy of Rat Pier from the deck. And then you're going to overlay Broad Bull on top of the Borbo. And you're going to detach the Borbo to search for our level 4 scale again, the Dragoons of Draconia. And now from here, you're going to put Dragoons of Draconia in the scale again. You're going to activate the Duelist Alliance. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your Pendulum Rising again. This card is just fantastic as far as what you're able to do with it play-wise. Uh, so like that's why we're just abusing it to the fullest. But now from here, we're going to go into Chaka 9. And we're going to detach the Broad Bull off of it to Special Summon Ram Ram. And now this Ram Ram can't be used as an Xyz material for an overlay for an Xyz Summon. Just like the Rat Pier in the previous combo wasn't able to as well. And now the thing here is that in the previous combo... We hadn't normal summoned yet, so we Pendulum Rising and we sent the card that was summoned off Chaka 9 to Grave, and we were able to get Pendulum Sorcerer, and we were able to summon Skullcrabat Joker afterwards. But we don't really have that luxury this time around. So what instead we're going to do is we're going to activate Pendulum Rising, and we're going to send the Rap here to Graveyard. Uh, the Ram Ram is perfectly capable, capable and fine to stay on the board, because we want to get some good value. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to Special Summon the Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer out of deck, and we're going to use Pendulum Sorcerer's effect to target the Dragoons of Draconia that's in the scale and the Zodiac Ram Ram on the board. So destroying these cards, the Dragoons goes into your extra deck, the Ram Ram goes into your graveyard. And since we cannot normal summon this turn, we're going to add Geturtle and we are going to add Performer Pal Dag Dagger Man. Now this is another card that was not in the previous list, but I found was necessary for like the highest yields of these generic uh, combos that don't involve Barrage. Uh, but so your Ram Ram here is going to trigger because it was destroyed, and you're going to special summon your Rat Pier back from Grave. And this can be overlaid with, so you've established a point where you can overlay into a rank 4 again, and you now have possible scalable cards in hand as well that you're capable of using. Now, it should be noted that if you already had Lizard Draw or Wisdom Eye in your hand at this point, you can do the previous combo 
as it was done in its entirety even though you've used your normal summon because what you'd be able to do is you'd still get the plus one off wisdom eye and you'd be able to do things like that or if you had lizard draw in your hand you'd be able to make king of the fairy limbs and search mass chameleon and mass chameleon would just be another level four that you could pendulum summon from hand so you're just getting extra cards like that but assuming that again we only had three non-combo cards in hand alongside our starter cards we're going to overlay these two cards into king of the fairy limbs and we are going to detach the Pendulum Sorcerer specifically this time. If you normal summon Drap here during the turn, you're gonna you're basically gonna leave it underneath the King of the Feralimps because we want a card in Graveyard to bring back with Dag Dagger Man to Pendulum Summon basically. Uh, but so what we're gonna be doing off King of the Feralimps is we're gonna be searching the Perform Pal Lizard Draw, and then we're going to go with our Geturtle in the scale and our Lizard Draw in the scale, and we're going to draw two cards by popping Lizard Draw after the Geturtle is drawn. And now at this point, again. If you've drawn Wisdom Eye at any point during this, you get two draws before you're dedicated to like making a Pendulum play. If you draw Wisdom Eye at any point during this, then you're really good off as far as like what you're capable of doing. And then you can also draw other cards like Barrage if you're playing more zoos in your deck, uh, depending on what build you're playing. Um, so you could have things like that to extend you as well in terms of plays. Uh, there's a lot of different capabilities that you have for like flexibility when this is being performed. Uh, but so from here, you could have Wisdom Eye to continue your play line, or you can do what we've established and what we've set up to be done, and that is to put Perform Pal Dag Dagger Man in the scale. Now, Dag Dagger Man is a two scale, so he's a really good generic low scale as well. And then we're going to add the Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer from our graveyard to our hand with Dag Dagger Man's scale effect. And now from here, we've got the Pendulum Sorcerer in hand, and we've got the Lizard Draw and the Dragoons of Draconia in the extra deck. So what we're going to do is we're going to Pendulum Summon the Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer, the Lizard Draw, and the Dragoons of Draconia. Like I said, if you already had Lizard Draw in your hand, if you had Lizard Draw or the uh, Wisdom Eye in hand before you made King of the Feralimps, if you had Perform Pal Lizard Draw specifically, you could use King of the Feralimps to search Mass Chameleon, and then instead of Pendulum Summoning this Lizard Draw, you'd already have it in the extra deck, but you'd have a Mass Chameleon in hand that you could Pendulum alongside this. Like, there's lots of variables in these, uh, in these combo sequences that you have to respect. Uh, otherwise, you're not really going to be doing too well because if you're not capable of adapting your play line, then it's going to be a problem. But so what you've got here is you've got this pendulum of this uh, lizard draw, which may seem pointless, but it's actually got a really good field effect that we're going to exploit because your opponent is going to want to out the Dryden't before they commit to anything, and that triggers the lizard draw. So I mean, there's uh, there's things to do there. But anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to overlay the Dragoons of Draconia and the uh, Pendulum Sorcerer. So Pendulum Sorcerer is being used for two overlay materials uh, during this turn into Digesto Emerald. And we're going to detach the Pendulum Sorcerer and we're going to shuffle back the Pendulum Sorcerer. You can shuffle back the Rep here if you're so inclined. And then you could put back Broad Bull just to be a nice generic, you know, Xyz option in the uh, near future because of the fact that it is a generic Xyz alongside things like Chakanine. Uh, but so then you're going to draw another random card and so that's the third draw that you've yielded yourself and then you can put Dryden't on top of your Chaka 9 or you can go into Tiger Mortar since Ram Ram is still in Grave and you can make your Dryden't harder to deal with by detaching the Tiger Mortar uh, off the Tiger Mortar to put the Ram Ram underneath Tiger Mortar and that makes it untargetable by trap effects as well, uh, because you'd be able to detach material to negate things like that. And then you can put a Dryden, and the Dryden will have 2,000 defense. So it's a pretty beefy ass to Dryden. It's got a thick booty, if you know what I mean. But so what you have here is you have this board uh, where this has been Pendulum summoned out. And so at, if, at any point that your opponent outs a monster or like tries to deal with Dryden first. Your lizard draw has an effect that allows you to draw a card because this exists on the board. And so that'll give you extra cards going into your next turn as well. So that's a cool little thing that you have going for you. But, so, off of Tenki or Rap here, plus the Pendulum Rising play that's, you know, facilitatable off Duelist Alliance, or just drawing the Pendulum Rising straight, then you have access and you get to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards, yielding you a plus 7. Uh, we're not counting Tinky because that's a like a, just a basic card that stays on the board and does nothing, but we are counting the scales because those do facilitate summons every turn. So those are very much real cards, whereas Tinky, not so much. 
Uh, but anyway, so you get seven extra cards off of those two. You don't get to do the Skull Cobra Joker play, and you don't get to end with two rank fours. You only end with one. Um, but that rank four can either be a defensive line card like uh, a Dweller against an applicable matchup, or it can be a Tornado Dragon in like backer heavy matchups that you're aware of. Or you can make Digusto Emerald and reset your resource pool. And what's interesting is that you don't use Barrage at any point during this combo. So if you drew Barrage, you'd be able to use Barrage to gain an additional level 4 at some point along the line, utilizing things like Whiptail or Thoroughblade in your deck if you choose to run those cards to have a little bit of a heavier zoo engine to make your deck easier to out Masterpiece and stuff like that. Uh, but then also, like, you can also, like, you don't have any extra deck pendulum monsters anymore except for this when it dies just like the previous combo but again you could draw into things like duelist alliance um off of this combo just to give you extra ways to get into more pendulum sorcerers and things of that nature if the king of the feral Limps survives then you've got the capability of using it to search another lizard draw next turn and just doing a turtle lizard draw again the, like there's so many like good little interactions that this gives you and it's so little in terms of investment required into this play line that it's just absolutely fantastic in terms of what you are yielded out of it because of the fact that your opponent has to out your board and you have six other cards in hand that you can use for defensive lines for follow-ups for all that sort of stuff so i love this deck i love these combos i love the fact that there's still a deck that can abuse drawing with the zodiac engine as well as this deck is but i think this deck is basically the only one that's capable of doing this i think every other zoo engine is going to just be uh, like dedicated to uh just building into boards rather than drawing cards because no other deck that i can think of has access to a turtle lizard draw interaction that the zoo engine can fuel stuff like that but Regardless, this has just been another cool little combo. This has been one of the variations uh, of this sort of stuff. So definitely let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. But if you have your own cool combos for cool decks uh, that you'd like to see me maybe look at, maybe feature on the channel and give you credit, of course, or if you'd like to see me try to improve some combos that you have uh, that you have that you came up with or that you've seen and you think it can be done with less cards, then definitely email me in the email address that is linked in the description down below. And I would definitely love to take a look at it. I'm always a, I'm always a sucker for really, really cool and nifty combos, but limit them to like two or three card combos. If it's like a five card combo, uh, like that's gonna be a little bit of a stretch, but maybe, maybe we might be doing some five, four or five card combos, but they'd have to be super generic. It'd have to be like, this can be like, nine cards this can be one of nine cards this can be one of nine cards stuff like that because then we're reaching the outer realms of this isn't possible but anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are on this combo in the comments down below again as i've already said if you have your own cool combo that you'd like to get my input on maybe see featured on the channel maybe get some revisions on all that sort of nonsense then definitely send that to the email address in the link in the description but other than that there's also links in the description to my facebook if you want to like that and support the stuff and the growth and all that nonsense or if you want to look at my personal patreon page and consider backing me as a personal supporter if you like the things that you see that i do on this channel you want to help some future projects that i've got lined up come into fruition a bit faster than they would normally and you want to support something that you like then definitely go check out the patreon page even pledging something as little as a dollar a month is a huge amount into making some future things that I want to do for this channel into a reality. So definitely go check that out if you like what I do and you want to support the channel in your own special way. But anyway, that is it for this video as I've already said. Again, thanks for watching. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.